Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about drawing inferences based on data presented in a line graph. Graphs are visual representations which can give information both directly and indirectly. In other words, readers sometimes may have to draw inferences or make conclusions based on the data presented. These are the things that we should remember before drawing an inferences. Number one, determine the topic or title of the graph. Number two, look at the axis, the x and y axis, to understand the relationship that is being illustrated. Number three, Analyze the data in the graph. The following are some of the expressions we can use in drawing inferences. Number one, from the information given in the line graph, I conclude that. Number two, from the information given in the line graph, I infer that. Number three, from the information given in the line graph, I assume that. Number four, from the information given in the line graph, it can be concluded that. Number five, from the information given in the line graph, it can be inferred that. To understand fully our topic for today, let's study the following examples. What inference we can draw based on the data given in the line graph? Yes, we can draw an inference like this. From the information given in the line graph, I infer that the expenses of Isgera family vary each day, which is on Monday it falls the highest expenses. Another example, study the data given in the line graph. What conclusion or inference can you make? Yes, we can make a conclusion or inference like this. From the information given in the line graph, I conclude that the lowest temperature in Baguio is at 10 degrees Celsius, which is in December. Next example. Study the data in the line graph presented. Then draw an inference about the data. What inference can you draw? Yes, we can draw an inference like this. From the information given in the line graph, it can be inferred that Isguera family has higher expenses than Luzano family during school days. This is one of the inference we can make out of the data in a double line graph. Please remember that we can have different inferences or conclusions based on the data presented. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.